over the river and through that stream to grandma's house we're going when we get there wet hello and welcome back to it pro tv's 12 days of it where we're unboxing 12 different it gadgets then giving them away today's the eighth day of it and that means don's unboxing an elgato stream deck now, if you haven't already registered to win, head over to itpro.tv slash 12 days to sign up. Then tune into our YouTube Live on Friday, December 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern and see if you're a lucky winner. You won't want to miss a day, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and jingle the bell for notifications. All right, it's time for Don to unbox the stream deck. Don, stream away! Thanks a lot, Zach. I'm really excited about today's gift. Of all of our 12 days of IT gifts, this one's my absolute favorite. We're looking at the Elgato Stream Deck, which is a really cool little LCD button keypad type thing that we can stick onto our computer. And you might ask yourself, wait a moment, don't I have enough buttons? I got a whole keyboard, I've got a mouse, I can click on things. Why the heck would I want this? Well, the Stream Deck is incredible incredibly useful. It can be used for a lot of different things. Now, if you look at the marketing content on the, the, the Elgato website, they're almost always promoting streaming. If you want to be a YouTuber or on Twitch, you can use the Stream Deck. It's amazing. I'll tell you, I use the hell out of my Stream Deck and I never go on Twitch or, or anything like that. What it does is it gives you these programmable buttons. Each button is a small LCD screen. So you can load an image to make it show whatever you want on any of those buttons. And then the buttons can take an action. And they kind of highlight some of that on the back of the box that you can do. Uh, you know what, here, let me, I'm gonna break this thing out and we'll actually take a look at it and I'll show you some examples uh, and explain how I use mine because I have one, I have one on my work computer, but I actually have a bigger one on my computer at home because I use the heck out of the thing. So the Stream Deck itself is actually fairly small. It, the, uh, the default model here has three column or three rows, if I get my terminology right, and five columns. So it gives you a total of 15 buttons here that you can program to use whatever you want. And see how they're all just black right now? It's because it's powered off. We power it on, they're LCD screens. Each one displays an image and they're tactile buttons that we can push just like a keyboard. So you'll see that they're kind of raised up a little bit there so we can reach in and push those. They have a nice soft feel to them, uh, which makes it again, easy to use. This one has the stand built into the back. It has a little rubber pad to stop it from sliding, but you don't have to use that stand. It actually pops off, and now you can see the true size of the Stream Deck. It's not a terribly large device. Think of it like a 10 key on a computer. There's just not a whole heck of a lot to it, so I could use it by itself like that, and now it's just incredibly small. But the nice part about this stand is it gets things kind of angled and positioned more like a monitor so I can see the buttons as opposed to having it just point straight up. Now there's not much else in the box. In fact, there's really just a USB cable, which is I'm assuming in this box because we need it. There we go. Uh, so we got a USB cable and you know, a little booklet that nobody ever reads. Uh, it is a USB-C device on the Stream Deck side, but on your computer side, it's USB-A or you can use a standard USB-C to USB-C cable if you've got that on your desktop. But the cool part is what you can do with the buttons. So let me give you a few examples of what I do. In my office, I have some TVs set up to be able to monitor different things. I have each button tied to a different Python script. And when I click the Python script button, it'll reach out to a server. It actually creates a telnet session off to a server, fires off a few commands, and then disconnects to change what's being displayed on my monitor. You can tie it to transfer files. You can have it display a clock or a timer. Uh, I'll create shortcut buttons for applications. Maybe you're a graphic designer and you use Adobe a lot. So uh, Adobe Photoshop has a number of different shortcuts. Maybe I want to switch from paint brushes to magic select to whatever. You can tie each button to one of those. Uh, I have other programs. I actually have a full soundboard on mine at home so I can play different sounds at different times or music. You can control your Zoom meetings. You can mute your microphone, unmute, turn on your camera, turn off your camera, all from a simple touch button right on the Stream Deck. Super cool device. So if you don't have one of these, you really should get one. And the easiest way to get one is to win our 12 days of IT competition. Zach is going to tell you how. Back to you, Zach. You only stream twice, or so it streams. <laughs> only kidding. Thanks, Don. Would you like to win that or any of the gadgets from the 12 days of IT? Well, then head over to itpro.tv slash 12 days to sign up. Then on Friday, December 10th, tune in at 2 p.m. Eastern right here for our YouTube Live and see if you're a winner. Go ahead and subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel right now and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a day. See you tomorrow for the next gift. Mm, so it's easy. Uh -huh.